Hola. <coughs> oh, that's a hit. <sighs> okay. Come on, Akita. Maybe here. Yeah. and Garus. Let's go. Sure, let's go. Huh. 
Freeze combo. Freeze combo. <laughs> the folks who answered the distress call. Cerberus Cruiser. At least a dozen fighters on blockade duty. Too many for us in a straight-up fight. They must want this place bad. Receiving incoming transmission. Let's hear it. SSB Normandy. This is Kaylee Sanders, director of Grissom Academy. We need immediate assistance. Cerberus is attacking the facility. They're after my students. This is Commander Shepard. We're blocked on a direct approach. I know. They've taken control of our docking base. Any alternatives? There's an auxiliary cargo port I could probably open. All right. We'll come in by shuttle and get your students out of there. Joker, can you give me a diversion? Oh, boy, can I? I don't know, Joker. Can you? Sanders, we're clear. It's me. Commander, thank you. Admiral Anderson always said you were the best. Anderson. And with Cerberus coming for my students, I need the best. How many of you are there? Fewer than 20. Most were sent home when word of the Reaper invasion spread. But a few volunteered to stay. Some are prototyping tech for the Alliance. Others are biotics. They've been training for military operations. Working together as biotic artillery. <coughs> you said something about Admiral Anderson. Yes, we met... Oh God, what's it been? 20 years ago when he was a Spectre candidate. I was there when Saren betrayed him. David saved my life that day. He's a good man. Saren? He was on Earth when the Reapers hit. He stayed behind when I got off world. I hadn't heard. We've been cut off from most news. He's alive? Alive and fighting. He's currently leading the resistance movement. Good. If we get out of here, well, just tell him to stay alive. A few months knocking over practice dummies can't prepare your students for war. Agreed, but the Alliance needs every resource it can get. And our students are unique resources. They wanted to help. How could we say no with the entire galaxy falling apart? Ah. Hang on, I've been trying to get communications working. Now. This is Frobert. There are students trapped in Orion Hall. Cerberus has us boxed in. They're closing fast. Damn it. 
Orion Hall? Back out the door and down the hallway. I can get the door open. I'll bring them back here and we'll make a run for the shuttle. Thank you, Commander. I'll stay put. With luck, I can regain control of some of our systems. Let's go, Shepard. <coughs> hey, Hames. Garus. What? Where's Garus? Dang, Garus. I'll get the door for you. It leads to Orion Hall. Hey, Garus. Let's go. Mr. Sean is out here somewhere soon. What? Right here?
hurt. She needs help now. Sean, can you hear me? How do you know my name? I saved your brother. He's with Kaylee Sanders at security. Can you get to her? Yeah. I just need to rest for a minute. Thank you. Cerberus. You're not telling me anything I haven't told myself, Jack. Oh, you feel bad? Well, shit. I bet that's a big comfort to all the people Cerberus has killed. As charming as ever. I got to see you again, Garrus. It still looks like shit. Okay, right now, all I care about is getting my guys out of here. Your guys? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. I can't think of anybody who could care about them more. Well, I had some free time while you were off playing Hero. Alliance Brass knew I helped you. They offered me this. And apparently the students responded well to my teaching style. The psychotic biotic! I will destroy you! Drink your juice, Rodriguez. You couldn't destroy wet tissue paper. Cortez to extraction team. The Cerberus cruiser is coming back. How long have we got? Two minutes stops, Commander. After that, there's no way we'll get past them. Get out of here and back to the Normandy. We'll find another way off the station. Roger that. Good luck, man. Shepard to Sanders. The students are safe, but the shuttle's a no-go. Understood. I'm 
might know another way off the station, but I need station-wide camera access. Can you disable the Cerberus security override? It's routed through Orion Hall, so it should be nearby. Hey, let me know when we've got a new way off this station. How are the students handling the war? How do you think? They're a bunch of teenagers. Until a few months ago, the biggest concern was getting laid. You don't think they're ready for war? I don't think they have a choice. So all this talk about biotic artillery strikes, it's great in theory. Maybe they'll get it together once they've seen some action. But... They'd be better off as support. Put them in the back ranks, helping with barriers and shit. I don't know. Oh. Have you told them that? No. They need me to believe in them. I did pick up a few <laughs> things listening to your damn speeches. <laughs> you have to say, Jack. You look good. Yeah, well, maybe some of your attitude rubbed off on me. I never had a family. And these guys... Anyone screws with my students, I will tear them wow. apart. What's so valuable about these students? Biotically, I mean. Well, what's scarier than a pissed off biotic attacker? A whole bunch of them working together. It's like a biotic artillery strike. Any asshole gets in our way, we rip him to shreds. <laughs> Doesn't that exhaust them? Yeah, sure. But we've been working on conditioning, improving endurance. Whenever they complain, I tell them about the collector base, holding that damn biotic bubble up against those bug things. Oh, yeah, uh, you did that. I kept thinking, damn, let the Solarian handle this. <coughs> we can talk them to death. Stay close. We'll get you out of here. Good. How does camera access get us off this station? We need to reach the Cerberus shuttles. The cruiser won't auto-target friendly ships, which gives us a fighting chance to escape. Get me back the cameras, and I'll find a path to the shuttles that keep Cerberus from boxing you in. Hi, do it. Okay. <coughs> You should have access now. Got it. The fastest way is through the atrium. <coughs> Cerberus has sealed the doors. You'll need to disable the magnetic locks. The overrides should be directly above the door. Hey, let me know when we've got a new way off this station. My Jack. Stick close. We'll get you out of here. Good. This station. Stay close. Good. Hey, Garus, little help. Everyone, be ready. We'll go in first and draw their fire. We'll shadow you from the second level and hit those those guys from above. I like it. Keeps them safer too. Hey, Hamis. Just time your shots and stay safe. All right. <laughs> I didn't bust my ass training you so you could die now. Keep low, pick your targets. 
Students of Grissom Academy, the station is sealed. The Alliance soldiers cannot save you. All they can do is get you killed. Surrender peacefully and you won't be harmed. Asshole. Damn it, they're messaging everyone. Students, switch your Omni tools to privacy mode so they can't track you. What if... what if they're not lying? You've already held your own against Cerberus. You've been trained for this by one of the best. Come on, Rodriguez. They're only asking nicely because you scared them in that last fight. So take your balls out of your purse and kick some ass. <sighs> yes, ma'am. Let's go! Eh, got us with the... Ah, day. <laughs> yeah.
Alamak, siapa? Foto yang kau tengok Everyone okay up there? Because she didn't wash her barrier. Commander, I've reached the Cerberus shuttles without being detected. They know what they're doing now. You need to hurry. Okay. Huh? Oh, no. Got it. Yep. Garus Garus tembak lah Garus <laughs> Garus tak tembak I'm Commander Shepard with the Alliance I'm here to help I didn't buy it from the last guy and I've got no reason to buy it now The square root of 906.01 equals 30.1 Hello Commander Shepard David, do you know her? Yes she rescued me from Cerberus, sent me here. She made it quiet. You did a great job keeping yourself safe. The biotic students are up there. Stay close. They'll get you out of here. Okay. Ah, uh, thanks. He looks better. I remember you. Normandy crew. Sorry. It was never your fault. Has Grissom Academy been all right? Yes. I've been counting. Anything in particular? The number of days he <coughs> lengthened my life. The security office. I hacked the lock. Guns. Lots of guns. Goodbye. Bye, David. <laughs> Never music this day. Oh, you. I'm not even back. Tadi, tadi dah matok dah saya. Matok lagi. Ha. Matok tu. Aha, I see now. I see what you do. <coughs> Lots of gun together. Come on, David. 
just <laughs> so just one gun. Like schematics for amp interfaces. Not as good as what we already have, but still worth a look. Where are we going? Upstairs? Garus gitu. Ah, mak. Kau main nasi.
okay, 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 okay. Thanks, at least. Should I go now? <coughs> Kalik, how's it coming? Shuttles are unlocked. Take the controls and get the students aboard. Wait, where the hell's Rodriguez? Joker, we flew out on a Cerberus shuttle. Watch your fire. All right, I've got you on sensors. Should just be a minute. Thank you, Commander. We'd have never gotten off that station if you hadn't come. Forget that. We kicked some ass. Next place we dock, you're all getting inked. My treat. <coughs> What do you guys want? Ascension Project logo? Glowing fist? Maybe a unicorn for Rodriguez? Screw you, ma'am! I can't believe we got them out alive. I was going to suggest that they stick to support roles. But perhaps they're ready after all. Now they're definitely ready, but the Alliance needs them in a support role. What? We trained for artillery strikes! We don't need another artillery unit. We need stronger barriers for our frontline squads. This is bullshit! Hey, if that's where they need us, that's where we go. Besides, I'm sure we'll get some shots in. Commander, we've got a visual on you now. Preparing to dock. Hey, Jack, now that you're military, you gonna wear a uniform, or are you just getting the officer's bars tattooed on? Screw you, f Flight Lieutenant. <laughs> what the hell was that? Jack promised to watch your language in order to maintain the necessary professionalism we need from our teachers. Would she have a swear jar or something? I bet if we empty that thing, we can afford another cruiser. Cover your ears, kids. Hey, Joker. <laughs> She's dead. And it's dead. Dead if you aren't a sight for sore eyes. Good to see you too, sir. Sir? I may have reinstated you, but that doesn't give you permission to go all formal on me. Then I'm glad you managed to keep your ass alive, Anderson. That's more like it. Looks like you didn't waste any time getting to work. I can only imagine what would have happened to those kids if they'd fallen into Cerberus' hands. They're definitely eager to help. These students are some of the best humanity has to offer. And we're throwing them into battle. God damn it, I hate this war. Hackett didn't mention in his report Kaylee Sanders is safe. She's with the recruits. Thanks, Shepard. When I heard about the attack, well, I've already lost a lot of friends. She asked me to tell you to stay alive. <laughs> Did she now? Well, thanks, Shepard. That might be the first good news I've heard this week. Anderson out. When that is. That's all. That's how it's happening. So, Reapers don't have colonies. You can't bomb them, or you're bombing what's left of your own planet. They make Commander, you've got a new message at your private terminal. Thank you. you. Uh.
Banshees are the corrupted Asari often found Asari. leading a Reaper strike force. The Reapers create them specifically from Asari with active or latent predispositions to becoming Ardot Yakshi, a rare neurological condition that enhances the Asari's biotic power while causing the immediate death of anyone she mates with. Lumbering as though in constant pain, the emaciated Banshees are surprisingly durable opponents. They are devastating biotics, able to hurl lethal balls of energy and create shock waves as they regenerate. Hmm. What Alliance military finds most disturbing is the Banshee's ability to spawn her own warp field and seemingly teleport during combat. Although their whales have no apparent physiological effect, the psychological impact is undeniable. When Banshees die, their Ardot Yakshi genetics twist against them causing a biotic implosion to ensure they evade capture. Hmm. The sight of a Reaper harvester in flight nearby is one of the first indications that a Reaper <coughs> invasion is underway. Their massive wingspan allows them to quickly cover the distance between them and their prey. In the harvester's mouth are two heavy guns that fire in an alternating pattern. The Harvester's most fearsome quality, however, is that its appearance guarantees that Reaper ground troops are not far behind. Dang. Lucky! Ravagers are former Rachni that the Reapers have transformed into heavy artillery through a process of implantation and genetic modification. As walking organic turrets, they can sustain and inflict considerable damage. Ravagers bear egg sacs that continuously spawn swarmers. If the sacs are destroyed either during combat or upon the Ravager's death, their entire contents burst forth to charge the enemy and explode on contact. A dead Ravager expels a caustic gas and an acidic puddle. Huh. Alliance scientists have theorized that it is easiest for the Reapers to maintain control over units of Rachni genetic extraction because of the species' neurological predisposition for hive mind consensus. Interesting. <sighs> Where to next? Diplomats ke? Hantar lah Ok, I think it's time for diplomats now Larian Dalatras and Krogan clan chief are ready to come aboard. Have them brought to the conference room. Oh no. And hope this doesn't start another war. I'm the Krogan is in no position Hello. to make demands. The Krogan oh, has a name. You. Earn not Rex. And I'm not just some junkyard Varen you unleash whenever you're in trouble. I've got my own problems. Reaper scouts have arrived on Tuchunka. So why should I care if a few Turians go extinct? Trying to draw out negotiations will get you nowhere, Rex. I have no time for it. <coughs> Just tell us what you want. I'll tell you what I need. A cure for the genophage. Whee! Absolutely not. The genophage is non-negotiable. Why are you so opposed to the idea, Delatras? Because my people uplifted the Krogan. We know them best. You mean you used us to fight a war you couldn't win? 
It wasn't the Salarians, or the Asari, or even the Turians that stopped the Rachni. It was Krogan blood that turned the tide. And after that, you ceased to be useful. The Genophage was the only way to keep your urges in check. Oh. Dalatrash, you may not like him, but Rex is right. Insulting him won't change that. I won't apologize for speaking the truth. We uplifted the Krogan to do one thing, wage war. It's all they know because it's all we wanted them to know. Your people should have thought the matter through then. Was it really a surprise the Krogan revolted? That's precisely my point, Commander. We made a rash decision. We turned to the Krogan in desperation. It's the same mistake you're about to make today. No good can come from curing the Genophage. The Krogan have paid for their mistakes. The Genophage has gone on long enough. 1,476 years, if you're keeping track. It was a thousand years of peace, free from these brutes. Enough! Whether or not they deserve a cure is academic. It would take years to formulate one. My information says otherwise. Oh. A Solarian scientist, Malin, grew a conscience. He was on my planet, testing a cure on our females. I remember. His methods were barbaric. But what you didn't know is that other females survived his experiments. So the Dalatress here sent in a team to clean up the whole mess and to take them prisoner. <coughs> Where did you get this? It, it could be a fabrication. Don't insult me. Those are my people. They're immune to the genophage, and you're going to give them back. Dalatras, is this true? Well, will curing the genophage benefit my people? How long do you think you'll last alone against the Reapers? Because if you don't help, that's how it'll end up. And I'll be the last friendly Turian you ever see. What's it gonna be? The females are being kept at one of the <coughs> SCG bases on Sirkesh. But I warn you, Commander. The consequences of this will be felt for centuries to come. Let's go get them. You're not setting foot on Sirkesh. This will take time. It happens now. As a Council Spectre, Shepard can oversee the exchange. We're going. I won't forget this, Commander. A bully has few friends when he needs them most. Huh, <laughs> that address. Oh. How about a ghost squad? Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Let's go.
Earth. This is the Solarian homeworld we're headed to. They aren't used to seeing Krogan here, so let's keep it simple. We land, get the females, and leave before anyone changes their mind. I still don't trust a word they say. <coughs> Let me see play out, Rex. You'll get what you want. These females are the best, and probably last hope for my people. We'll bring them back, Rex. Don't worry. I appreciate that, Liara. I wouldn't want anyone else along for the ride. Retrieving the females should be a simple matter. Who's the synthetic? I'm Edie, the Normandy's artificial intelligence. Sounds like Joker didn't teach you anything about Solarians. <laughs> Commander, I have the Solarian base on sensors. Set her down. Ah, oh, diplomacy. Commander, Solarian ground control says we don't have clearance to land. Tell them the Dalatras authorized this herself. I knew they'd never keep their word. Let's see them try to stop a Krogan airdrop. Rex! <laughs> we have an unauthorized <coughs> landing. And who authorized you to hold my race hostage? No oh, other biotics. moments ago. I'd like to avoid a diplomatic incident. As would we. But you have something valuable to Rex. Something worth dying for. This matter can be resolved, but I must insist he remain under guard. <clears throat> I can handle this, Rex. If anything goes wrong and all bets are off. I'm Paddock Wicks. I appreciate your understanding, <coughs> Commander. Wicks. With war on everyone's minds, our people are on edge. What is this place? Careful! Watch the containment shield! I'd hope to never see one of those again. As you can see, this base contains sensitive information. What kind of work goes on here? Evolutionary trials, morphological simulations, exogenetic assessments. Nothing is ever simple with Solarians, is it? Science has always been our best defense. The research we do here has kept Sirkesh safe for millennia. Does that include studying lost Krogan? The females <coughs> were in poor health when we found them on Tachanka. They were brought here to stabilize their condition. Well... This whole planet smells wrong. I'd like to see them. Of course. I'll need to clear you for the lower levels. Give me a few moments and meet me near the elevator. Interesting. Is that straightforward? Anywho, <laughs> Rex. This is where all you Solarians come from, huh? No wonder you're so soft. Too busy writing poetry about waterfalls. Shepard, I don't like this. I should be the one going in. How about you stay here and we only fight one war at a time? That was just good old-fashioned Krogan hot air. If it had been real, they'd be dead. <laughs> Who tipped you off about the females here? Sorry, Shepard, but they're listening to every word we say. I prefer my Solarian liver served raw. <laughs> <laughs> Besides, you'd think this is the kind of thing the Shadow Broker would have known about. Yeah, that I don't know him or her. I'm sure the broker was very busy. Back in <coughs> Normandy, you said Reapers were sighted on Tachanka. Clans Jorgal and Ravador sighted a few landing parties. The Reapers are up to something. Tachanka may be a pile of radioactive rubble, but it's our pile. Then we'll fight the last Krogan to keep it that way. That's what I always liked about you, Rex. Huh. My smoldering good looks? <laughs> there is that. But you've never given up. 
And that determination's about to pay off. Yeah. Who would have thought back on Vermeyer we'd be standing here doing this together? What do you know about these females? They weren't fertile, so we used them as decoys to draw off enemies from the ones who were. But Malin's experiments changed that. These damn piejacks stole them right out from under us. Are the Krogan ready to fight the Reapers? Ever since Sovereign showed up, I figured this day would come. My people have spent too much time selling ourselves out as mercenaries. Now we can get back to doing what Krogan do best. <laughs> saving everyone else from giant monsters. Krogan do enjoy reminding us about the Rachni Wars, don't they? And Asari never let us forget they're better looking. It's been good talking to you again, Rex. It'll be even better when we have a few Solarians for lunch. <laughs> Rex. Okay. Tom boy, so. Bye bye, Johnny.